today we are going to talk about the problems new programmers face the solution to them and how to start the programming or initiate and become a good programmer and what may be the common programming errors or mistakes that may come up for a newbie in programming so uh, not try too fast set everything before moving on that is there are cases where students or programmers or would be programmers they learn quickly and as the time pass by they fall behind everyone this is because the basic building block should be strong if a brick is strong the building will be strong or otherwise there may be problem in future then watch the test code very carefully there is always a test code like hello world or this sort of uh, kind of code watch it carefully see how this program is written what are the basics of the program and below this code there will be no code and above this code you are going to add in near future so this has to be very clear then don't just read or example or code just try running it reading is okay but we seldom forget 80% of the thing next day so try running it see how does it work what result you get how result how result can be interpreted all these thing can be uh, a good uh, practice for new programmers and try writing your co own code means you can't just see on a paper or see uh, on a desktop or a text file and you can very well think okay now i have seen the program i may do it no you need to write your own code because until unless you write you will not be able to understand what the problems may be what may be the syntax is and once you write it it will be embarked in your brain forever so write your program debugger most important to learn what happens that generally programmers try to learn what is there in programming language and uh, they learn it because they have to give exams later on but while making program you need to learn the debugger which finds out the error because once you know how to run debugger you can debug the program and you can you know catch upon those time which you are going to waste while debugging so coming to the problems which new programmers face generally and what may be the solution getting set up means you need to have a good compiler a good programming tutorial maybe a good friend who can teach you a teacher who can teach you or in college uh, you can um, ask your uh, teacher or faculty to manage this programming classes and after this compile and develop program or environment is created you have created then only you can or you should think of making programs and you you should have a programmer thinking means you need to think as a programmer not now you are not a general human being why because programmer needs logic it is a check or it is a result of your aptitude so logic is there so start thinking as a programmer just an example that uh, a commercial says uh, car washing company it washes a car takes a good money but when the car came to the owner there was a slight you know left over and that left over you know it is the flaw which can make your impression bad it can make a programmer to fall May consider that you are sending a satellite and you have to write that program even a small mistake can you know lose you or lose your company crores and moreover your credibility as well then coming to compiler error messages the error messages they come and first time programmers they are bewildered 
they're confused how many errors are coming how can i get rid of them no error may come compiler is your friend it is actually showing you error because you need to you know get pass on it so better to understand the error and try to learn how to remove those errors so compiler linker errors also should be known to you again coming to debugging you need to have a good tool for debugging and you need to learn it so that you can debug the program and run it successfully then designing a program in software programming we say that you need to have a good software design to make a good software because programming part is less very meager but system design requirement specification part takes all the time and you should take all that time why because if you have a good design your program is not going to fail but if you have not designed then i don't know what may be the consequence if even if you make a good program then common programming mistakes this is uh, the topic we are we are going to cover just now this is important because once you start programming there may be certain errors which you might not be aware but you you know unknowingly make mistake and then you are caught up that oh my god i wrote everything what is there in the book or what has been told to me but i'm not getting through it like you have undeclared variables see this program has undeclared variable x is not declared you see program is correct it will not give any error whatsoever but it will give undeclared variable variable error so you need to declare everything which you are going to use or you you, you will be using in your programming then initialized variable what are these that you have taken a variable you have gone for a loop and you did everything right but where is count initialized it has not been initialized so everywhere you need to look for the initialization first because for any loop it is the first basic thing then setting a variable to an uninitialized value you have certain thing like sum is equal to a plus b but a plus b a and b is not yet known it will come in this line so what will happen to the program nothing is going to be seen at sum it will be a garbage value okay then using a single equal sign to check quality you know from the first class or from the point where our senses has come we have known that single is equal to is actually is equal to but in programming it is double is equal to so we will make frequent mistakes like this one so try not making it and you will not be you know caught up with this particular problem you see we have only single is equal to so it will be assigned and this loop will run forever then undeclared functions what are those you have a function you are using it you all wanted to use it but you have not declared it these functions are not known by the compiler these function are what you have made so you have to tell them that i am going to uh, use this function so it has to be declared somewhere here or pre intimated in extra semicolons you know everywhere you have to use semicolons in most of the programming language now you are using semicolon but because while programming you have so much uh, you know into the programming you may use semicolons number of time so what happens you end up placing a semicolon after for which is not generally expected so you will get x equal to 100 rather than you wanted to print from 0 to 100 Zero to ninety-nine, rather. Overstepping array boundaries. Array has a problem, or array hasn't a problem. I should not say that. Array has certain boundary. Now we have a problem that sometimes programmer or programming may try to run over that boundaries. And once you are running over that boundary, array is not going to uh, complain. It has nothing to complain. It has no function to complain. So it has. It is your responsibility to see. that array bounds should not go beyond what is what is being given 
then misusing and an or operator see this program i i don't see any problem in this program oh rather than th saying thank you let me explain this what is there in this program see value equal to 10 this will work fine but we have a or sign so value equal to 20 should also be uh, included in this value will never be 20 and this particular thing this particular uh, program will run forever and will not be able to find out until unless we are sure that we don't misuse double and or double or operators so thank you so much the source of this uh, presentation i have taken from certain uh, aspects from cprogramming.com thank you you can mail me and uh, you can share subscribe and comment or tell me what all you want so that i can make a good video for you thank you so much